Hey there guys, I'm MG Haggis and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. In the in the distance, in the water, we've got another TUZ that struggled. Uh, I was out scouting in the Harvest Corp map and I'll show you exactly where I am. I'm in the bottom southeast corner. I was just scouting about, opening up a map, just tidying up, and this came to light. Gone fishing is the task, and it would appear we've got to rescue this guy and take him somewhere. I haven't activated the task yet. If I can get back into the map, there we go. So I'm going to drive forward, activate it, see what's involved. If it's something on this map and not extreme, then we might just do it and then we'll move on with a contract, time permitting. So let's see what it is. Gone fishing. You know that little lake down south? There's a tiny island there. A great place to relax and get away from everything. Thing is, I managed to get my truck stock there. So could you help me get it out? 6,250 cash, 530 XP, okay, so it's not too bad. And we'll track it. The contract in the top right corner is buyer. We might come round to do that soon. Just not quite yet. Right, where are we going with this? So there's the car. A gone fishing. Oh, he's going to the airport. Ah, it's a wee bit of a drive. We could at least... We can start it off. In fact, we've got a truck up there, haven't we? We've got our step, our pike. Yeah, why don't we just do this and then we'll move on. Right, you're in luck. Uh, I am fully refueled, fully repaired. I just used the stuff that's on the roof rack just because it's there and that's what it's designed for. I'm not going into the water if I can help it. Right, let's get him out. We are at the south corner, so there can't be anything else. I mean, there's a, there's a wee hut over there, but that's just that wee fishing tent thing. I think that bit there, if you can see where our mouse is, that's the end of the map, and we're clearly the end. So they're not going to put anything in there, and I can't see anything being here. So I'm not going to go any further with the, the radar side of things. We're just going to try and get out of here and head to what's the best road for the airport. Okay, that's the airport there, so probably this junction there at some point. But that's where we're going. Okay, out you come, little TZ, before you get much wetter. Let's reel them in properly. Right, that should do that. Right, let's get on our way. Follow the shoreline for a wee bit, I think. Quite pretty down here. And another fine morning. Probably going to change soon, though. Ugh, it's a bit bumpy. Going to have to get off the shoreline. That's enough fun in the sand. Just cross up here. Looks quite even. Up you go. Something's going off. Sounds like rockets. Right, let's get rid of that waypoint because that's leading me well in the wrong direction. Okay, straight west. down here. Hopefully it won't be too boggy. This isn't too bad. You can kind of like just pick your own route, whatever suits so you. You can avoid going onto the island and across it to the other side. I've said it before, that's the beauty of this region. It seems you can like do your own thing without it being too linear and you having to follow a a route that the devs intended to use, you know. Look like that. Don't need to worry about fuel since we're heading to the airport. We can pick up fuel at our leisure. 
We're right here, and it's this road. Can we go any faster? Not really. A wee bit. Okay. Stay on the boards. Stay on the boards. Nice. Where's the airport? Airport way in the distance. Right, let's get a waypoint before I go way off track. Airport's up there, so we're gonna go follow this road and then up. And then. Okay, we're not too far off then. Good, good. Can we avoid all of that stuff? Mm, maybe. Oh. oh, that last little bounce got me. Good bit of flooding here as well. Seems to be a common theme in uh, SnowRunner. Flooding, landslides, and broken crossings. Okay, we've got to go right here then, it seems. Oh man. Okay. Try not to pick up too much da damage. EQZ gonna get out of there, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Got a fairly nice little easy task to start the episode. You could easily miss doing this task completely. I mean, you'd see it in the list in the map side of things, that it's when you have to do. But you could miss it. For a good portion of your gameplay, at least. Come on. Miss that tree out. As well, the Land Rover's more than capable. I think the other one would have been good for this would have been the Ford F750. Another awesome scout vehicle with all that fuel it can carry. I haven't used that guy in a wee while now, but we're kind of like running out of options for scouts. It's all lift and shift. Can we get a higher gear? Yes, we can. Oh, now we're cooking. How good would it to be to see some animation in the next iter iteration of SnowRunner, or whatever it's going to be called? Right, one... And delivered PUZ. Oh, okay. Interesting. There it is, my precious. I always pay my debt, so here's a little something for your trouble. Oh, and uh, do check that island too. I think you'll find something useful there if you haven't already. Boom. Okay. Ah, can't believe we never actually went to the island now. So I'm going to guess that that... Oh, there's a trailer there. Kind of forgot about that trailer. Um, that TUZ is like the Royal BM17. It's going to just be another asset that sits there and does nothing on the map. Is it... Uh... Yeah, there it is there. 
totally knackered, same as the Royal, which is still sat there, can't do anything with it, and the flatbed trailer, which funnily enough you can actually use, but it's greyed out. Anyway, back to us over here. Surprised he didn't want us to fix it, because that looks pretty unhealthy and no fuel. Anyway, enough of that. Job's done. Let's put the engine off, because I was leaving him with the engine running. He'll go back. In fact, back in the map, sorry. I'm going to pick up fuel for him, and he... He might head up into this corner and that corner and use the radar. But again, I'll open up all of this in my own time because there's, there shouldn't be anything that gets revealed there. But as for the island, there should be something nice over here for us. That's curious because it certainly hasn't appeared when I used the radar. So maybe at some point I'll fire the Land Rover over to this island and if I find anything, obviously I'll record it for you. If it's of any interest, we do have... Oh, that's the... That's the BM over there. I kind of wish... I might move that out of there because I keep on thinking I've got a truck there. I'll drag it some into the field or something. Okay. Task or contract as it is. Buyer's a good possibility. Uh, and it's pickup actually from the airport. Let's have a look at that. Buyer. Deliver to the buyer... Two medium planks. Oh, okay. And two... Right, oh, well, that's the logical one to do, isn't it? We're here. We've got the pike. Let's let's just jump into that then. Right, okay. You won. I can click on it. Nope. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay. He's ready to go. Back it up. That was quite handy. Go a little bit further. And we're after medium planks, please. Ooh, how long are these? Two slots each. Ah, oh, that works for me. Perfect. Right, where are we off to then? Let's set some routes. Up to the buyer, so we're going this road. Straight across there. That moved. Up and in. We could probably cut across there, actually, but... That's up, and the metal beams is easy, because that's just down here. So that's just back down, back up. Okay. And if we need to go via the garage to repair, refuel, then we can do. Excellent. Been a while since we've been in this guy. Still a nice day. We are... I am honoured. I say we. We may get sunny days every time you play. I was about to cut that corner. Glad I didn't. Tree stumps everywhere. Try not to pick up too much damage. Mm. And doing this contract will open up. I think it's the last two. Oh, look at this. Very slow. Okay, we're on. Yeah, yeah th this contract opens up the last two of, is it Harvest Corp? No, what's the contract collection? One of the three. Another dodgy crossing. The last, the, the bottom set of contracts that's in the list, there's quite a lot still to do in that. Um, picking up random things like solar panels, and we've got the other turbine blade to do. That's a biggie, that's a multi-map one, so we're, we've got to get a lot unlocked before we get to that stage, but we will. 
There are lots to look forward to. There's nothing, nothing to find on the maps anymore, and nothing we're going to gain. No trucks, no upgrades. No trailers, I don't think. There's trailers dotted about, but nothing that I think we're going to get any XP and ownership from. But that's okay. Our bank balance is looking much more healthy again. I've not sold any other trucks since quite a while back. Just all my trucks are dotted around the whole region. I'll need to do a massive logistical collection of them all back into the garages. Alright, slow it down. I could have probably gone completely round this and avoided it. This is nice, nice wee challenge. The trailer gonna go on it though. Oh, it's not, is it? Is it? Just. Okay. Cut the mud out. Cut the verge. Getting steep on this side though. No risk of tipping though, that's happy. Happy with that. Happy days. And over here. I think it's is it about here that we're gonna we could potentially cut off to the right. Let's have a look. Let's make our own roads. As long as we can get in. That works for me. Hey, right, here's your medium planks. Whoever wants them. Easy as that. That didn't even use much fuel. It's at less than 50 litres. Cool. Get rid of that waypoint. And we are now going down there. We try and go cross country. Make it an adventure. I know we can get over this bit. Okay. Waypoint. Where are you? Hey, I'm on the waypoint. Get rid of that. That's better. I'm not even... The temptation to barge through his fences is there, but I'm not going to be reckless. Let's do it the nice way. We'll go around. Cutting through the trees. Go around, go around, go around. See, I'm a good delivery driver. I don't trash everything on route. Ooh, ooh. A wee bit steeper than I thought it was going to be. My jinx of the weather has worked. Beautiful days turned into a miserable dark day. That's one of the things I would really love in this game. Maybe it'll happen in the future is dynamic weather. So maybe flooding, localized flash flooding would close a road or a bridge gets washed out that you have to repair. How good would that be? Or if you're in a snowy one, a, a sudden snow dumping in a certain road closes the road. And you could maybe open the road up with a snow plow. That sort of stuff would be epic. Okay, not far now for the metal beams. This is a road. Yep, I know where I am. Try and go a little bit faster. Go 
one little pike. Good job. And perfect with this trail is two metal beams. It's the kind of job if you had the little low a sideboard bed, the little one on the back of this, and then the sideboard trailer with two slots. You could do it quite capably with that as well. I'm actually getting used to playing with the low saddle and the trailers. It's quite a good setup that covers most scenarios. Albeans to the trailer, yes, please. Bring it. That's going to be heavy. Yeah, that's the Royal BM-17. You save it, but you can't do anything with it, which is a bit of a shame, because it'd be nice if they gave you that. It's a wee bit different to the trucks you do normally get given. And it's a truck I really... I never... I like the look of, but I didn't rate it too greatly. I think it lacked either diff lock or all-wheel drive. But it's class as an off-road. Yeah, this is the kind of terrain I would use it in. Nothing to go through mud. And these are going to the barrier as well. So basically, it's back the way we came. The main stop. is going to be significantly heavier though. We're going to track straight back out again. The liberty point has appeared. Okay, let's kind of straight line it as best as we can. I'll probably get caught out by some sort of ditch and I'll end up on my side. That's how I see things panning out. The left of that tree, that ditch on that side looked a bit steep. We're at the back of the garage. It was just there. I'm not even going to bother about picking up fuel. Ooh, tree stumps. Lots of tree stumps. Yeah, the option to go past there to refuel and repair is, is there. How good is this little pike? Oh, he got some air there. And it bounced up into there. Cool. We're making them work hard for this. Straight up there. I didn't even break stride. Um, how do we get in there without destroying everything again? Right, take it easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Need to turn back a bit, back a bit. That's it. Destroy the house. Oh, you've caught the roof. That's okay. It's still standing. Right, swing the left. Hit the trailer. Oh, oh, barrels are moving though. And that in as the sun is trying to set. Oh, a cutscene! It's been a while since we had one of them. Oh, nice. 
Very good. Fire, so it says, I can barely recognise this place. Hopefully soon we'll be able to restore the rest of the region to match it. Yes, I'm sure you will with our help. Okay, now it's probably best to get this guy back to the garage. Let's put the engine off. That's just a wee trip around the road on my collection of trailers. Again, guys, if you happen to know there was a trailer that you given... Oh no, offboard. I lie. That's not true. That's one of our off uh, DLC mod ones. Not DLC, it's even a mod trailer. I put two lots of something in it and I have no idea why. I've just dumped it there. I'll worry about it later. I, I don't recall. It's something I did ages ago. Right, next one. We're not doing log bridge because that's over here and you can get past without it. The next contract I was thinking about, but it's going to be in the next episode, is one of these. See, so we've got lots to open up or even unlock. Power of the sun in the heartlands. Yes, yeah, solar panels and trailer with parts. Sounds interesting. Not a bad pay. So we'll accept that and that's what we're going to do. I am going to, in the meantime, like I've said, I'm going to tidy up the trucks. I'll get the Land Rover to one of the gateways and just open up this western edge. Pike's going to go back to the garage with the trailer. And I might, if I've got time, uh, once I've opened up the west edge with the Land Rover, I'll bring the Land Rover back over here and see if there is actually anything at all. It might be an Easter egg. That could be what that is. But I haven't, I'm yet to see an Easter egg. As in, things that are not majorly part of the game. But anyway, you know what I mean. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed that a wee bit. Uh, a wee bit of ATB logistics and rescuing another quality TUZ. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.